<sighs> I'm back. So today we're going to be talking about Jake Novak, which could very possibly be the worst millennial on TikTok. I know, it, it sounds ridiculous. There are so many bad millennials, but I promise you, this comedian slash musician white guy, he's bad. He's really, really bad. I, I don't know, he's not really that bad. I just wanted to make a video cringing at him because I found him on TikTok and I need something to talk about. Yeah. First, I think we should listen to this guy's most critically acclaimed smash hit, uh, Bad Gun. So, yeah. Land of the free, home of the brave, land of the AR-15, home of kids in the grave. I've struggled to find the words, keep the disposition sunny. I'm always trying to turn the unfunny things funny. Dude, if you're struggling to find the words and trying to make it funny, don't make a song about it. It's that simple. But laughing feels wrong. Yeah, laughing should feel wrong. It's a school shooting. Hypocrisy's rife, I gotta say something. Cause you're all pro-life unless it's taken by a gunman. 19 more tiny heartbeats stopped in the alma mater. You force kids into the world, then condemn them to slaughter. Um, I used to be a big Hamilton fan, and this guy sounds so much like Lin- Lin-Manuel Miranda. Like, I can tell he's trying to be him. It's so weird. <laughs> Um, yeah. We teach our daughters how to hide when they should be learning history. Then we're surprised when it repeats itself. It's no mystery, it's indifferent. See them run when asked how to combat the madness. They don't care about your rights, they only care about their status. And they have us where they can hold us. Packed in the Senate and SCOTUS and acting bogus, hocus pocus while we hopelessly focus. Acting bogus? Hocus pocus? Jesus Christ, this guy is so white. <laughs> I'm the joke that is trying to feel safe in this country. I love my home, but I don't know if we'll truly become free if we can't agree. Uncle Sam's holding a bad gun. The nation's fighting for its soul. Are we sure it ever had one? It's so obvious that this guy is just trying to make it about himself. And that's really messed up. Because, like, come on, man. It's a school shooting. Like, if you're trying to... Jesus. Now I'm struggling to find the words. Children dying in the school. Nope, nope, absolute. Next song, next song. Okay, next we're gonna talk about this song, in which the title sounds like something a group of stoner dudes would come up with at 3 a.m. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you know that, like, Stranger Things song, like the intro song? Yeah, bro, what about it? D- dude, what if it was, like, a rap? <laughs> like. Oh my god, dude, that'd be so fire. Dude. Something strange is happening in Hawkins, Indiana with a group of preteen nerdy dudes who play Dungeons and Dragons when Will Byer seems to vanish biking home after a session. Dustin, Mike, and Lucas search and find a girl who's named Eleven. Honestly, if you showed the Duffer Brothers or anyone even remotely associated with the show this, they'd probably have a stroke. Will's mom Joyce is kinda crazy, brother Jonathan's a creeper, and the cops are led by Hopper, who's a really heavy drinker. Nancy Wheeler can't conceal her wish for Steve to get up on her and- Oh my god. Oh. When he does, the monster makes her bestie Barb a goner. R.I.P. Barb. On another note, Elle's like a superhero, basically a wizard, and the guys think she's a weirdo, but Mike really wants to kiss her. Is her- this guy kind of reminds me of my mom when I mention any female friend. Ooh, you want to kiss her? Ooh, like, why does he sound like that? Her motive clear? No, tension's high. Everybody's getting in fights. Friends don't lie. Will's talking through the lights. Might sound ludicrous, but it's true, and this is the proof of it. Why is he, like, trying to outrun the beat? Calm down, Jake. It's not a race. Here we have got pregnant with a girl like Zach. So, you should all be familiar with the My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle It Fold sound. Um, so... Jake made that, but it's even wider and even more millennial somehow. Take a listen. Honey, don't jiggle, jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle, wiggle, for sure. It makes me want to dribble, dribble, you know. Ride it in my feet, you really have to see it. Six feet, two in a compact, no slack. But luckily the seats go back. 
He really thought he did something there. It's so funny. I got a knack to relax in my mind. Sipping some red, red wine. <laughs> Next, we're going to look at this open verse challenge that Jake did uh, from a virgin's perspective. So, to all my wonderful fans out there, this is for you. Wait, this is more than kisses? Oh, jeez. Whoa, freeze. It's my first time. Don't tease me or I'm going to burst up. Did this man really just say, I'm going to burst in a song? Oh, I'm not well versed when it comes to quench and thirst. I'm unrehearsed and in love somewhat cursed. I'm okay, I want to meet the person who decided that quenching thirst was a good metaphor for having sex. And I'm gonna punch him in the face. I'm the worst in moments like these. So scared I'll be selfish, so anxious to please. It is not supposed to be like this. You on your knees thinking he's a bit sleazy. It's cheesy. I thought there'd be violins or a bouquet of roses. Something slightly more enticing than a film and mimosas. Okay, but like, who does it to Deadpool? That seems like one of the worst possible movies you could choose. Latosis. Do I have it? No, yes, that's your butt. You want me to grab it? Oh, I've been. Like, do I even need to say it at this point? Yeah. That's it. And none. Now there goes my habit like Atlas down the rabbit hole. Uh, uh, why did he say hole like that? Uh. Like I feel like someone knew your skin on my skin. So this is love and now I know what I miss. You know I could do this all day. Hey, maybe not all day. Oh, wow. This was exactly my face when I found out people actually like this guy.